Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 227. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're looking at the prettiest girl in Phoenix Union High School in 1927. One of my history adventurers lent me some interesting old books a few days ago, and one of my favorites to look through is the 1927 yearbook for Phoenix Union High School. I scanned in a few things, including 1927 beauty queen Millie Bruce. And now I'm thinking about slang terms for pretty girls. Speaking for myself, in high school in the 1970s, the greatest compliment that we could give a pretty girl would have been to call her a fox. In the 1920s, she would have been the bee's knees or the cat's meow. You might have said that she had it, which meant that she had a uh, sex appeal. <laughs> if you called her a home girl or a chick, she might have no idea what you were talking about. You could have called her a babe, of course, but she might think that you were comparing her to Babe Ruth. Her hair, by the way, was short in a manner that was called bobbed. Short hair for women became popular in the 1920s, and the term bob came from how horses' tails were shortened. It was initially meant as derogatory, but soon the term caught on, and bobbed hair became all the rage. The 1920s were a very important era for women, and it became acceptable for them, for the first time, to smoke, to show their legs, not just their ankles, in public. Women got the vote in 1920 with an amendment to the United States Constitution. This was the era of thoroughly modern women, and the 1927 Phoenix Union High School Beauty Queen was a thoroughly modern Millie. And she's the bee's knees, wouldn't you say? This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.